Hello, this is Palico Page, and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld version 1.0. In the last episode, we survived two raids. The new steel traps worked awfully well, took out a lot of people straight off. Uh, we've also gone about to connecting up the generator, because I forgot to bloody do it last time around. And we've made a little corridor in order to link up all this, in case we have a toxic fallout at some point. Which again, will inevitably kick off because that's the kind of look we have. So as it stands now, the base, or at least the, all the important parts of the inside of the base, are all connected. So really, if the worst was to happen, we can get around the entire base pretty much without stepping outside unless we really, really have to. I would presume at this point, I, I have, it's been a while since I've checked, the home zone is covered, which is awesome. Uh, roof area? Oh, there's a few spaces. There's a few spaces. This is why you should really keep an eye on your, on your roofing situations. Uh, as it stands, though, that's all good. That works. Cool. Uh, so we could probably do with making a toxic fallout area. I think that's where we should start in this episode, whilst things kick off. Or not, as the case may be. Uh, so let's have a look at our zones in general. What do we have? Uh, we have uh, Cozy Indoors. Inspired Trade. Kimmy. Awesome. That would have been good in the last episode. Never mind. Uh, so let's expand our Cozy Indoors zone. Cozy Indoors. And it can go to... There. 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 All of that. And now we can build it onto there as well. Something's going on. I will check it out in a second. Uh, that. That. I mean, just in case there's any maintenance that needs doing on the walls, I suppose it makes sense to keep them within it. Which is fine. All of you. All of you. All of you. Cool. I think that's pretty much it. We'll boop you just in case. Oh, and that. So that means everything is inside now, yeah? <gasps> the medibay isn't. That's pretty useful. Cool. So, worst case scenario, we're covered on that. We can get rid of that because that's no good to us. A caravan from the Confederacy of Canterbury is approaching. They are a bulk goods trader. Cool. We'll wait until they get out of the water this time before doing anything like that. Everyone's unrestricted, aren't they? Yes. So, hopefully, they're going to cross this time. They're going to cross the water. Cross the water. Cross the water. Across the water. Hey, there we go. And uh, we can do some trading. So, oh, yeah, Kimmy. Kimmy, Kimmy, Kimmy. Is, how is your warding generally anyway? 9 to 12. You know what? Let's give Kimmy a whirl. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? We'll take the top price, see what they offer her. And then we'll try Lilith if, and see what that is. So, we can buy a Labrador Retriever for 240. Let's remember that. Lilith... Where are they gone? Bottom person. 240 for a Labrador. Kimmy's got food poison and she's thrown up everywhere. 287. Wow, she... Is it is it bad if Kimmy starts throwing up over people? Is that going to affect our trade prices? <sighs> nice. I presume people on top of that... I presume people are on top of that. Uh, okay, fine. It's still better than what we're getting with Lilith. So that's fine. I'll just I'll just deal with it. So uh Pemmican, lots of Pemmican. Caribou meat. I mean we could well, I will always buy the meats off them. They got more money actually. What else do they like to buy? They buy guns, they're not interested in guns. 
Uh, right, okay. Well, we'll buy the helmet. I'm not bothered by that. Uh, no, 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 no. We'll get... Oh, they're offering a bowler hat. Not too fussed by that. Wooden war mask? I'm a, oh, a bit beyond that. Uh, the flak jacket, though. I will take that flak jacket. Uh, what else have they got? Birdskin Parker. Smoke pop belt. Am I doing it again? No, I'm not. I'm going to take you. Yeah, I'm going to take you. Everything on this side, we're offering. Right, so. Uh, no, 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 no. Poor. Steel plate armor. I mean, I suppose I better keep it. I suppose I better keep it. Um, Do we get rid of everything? Poor, 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 poor. Wood. Herbal medicine. All this stuff is good. I mean, we can get rid of some wolf skin. That's pretty pricey. Uh, and some panthera fur. Good band. Uh, camel hide can go. We'll keep the plain le leather. Lizard skin? Why not? Bird skin? Fine. Um, synth thread, we're keeping that. Cloth. Potatoes, corn, that's fine. So, meats. We are starting to run a bit low on meats. I think it's probably worth stocking up. So, of all that being said, they've got quite a beat. I mean, what's the tastiest? Boom rat, elephant, or fox? I suppose it's. I suppose fox. Does it let you know if is there is there a nutritional value, zero point zero five to zero point zero five to zero point zero five? So no. Food poison. Ch I suppose that's pretty important. It's all two percent. So it. All right, let's buy all your fox meat. Five four four. What else can I sell you? What else can I sell you? Uh, I mean, we've got plenty of light leather. Do we get rid of the plain leather? Herbal medicine's on keeping. Wood on keeping. I mean, do we have anything low? I mean, you could have a 75% t-shirt. And a 78% cloth jacket. Is that steel plate armor's coming back up again? Uh, fur duster. You can have that. You can have that. Tux are fine. Cowboy hat. Yeah. That'll do. That'll do. Are the fires out yet? Come on, guys. Start repairing, will you? Uh, we need some lights. We need some lights. Uh, let's pop in a standing lamp. There. There. And there. Why not? Do, does the power run the other side? It doesn't. Let's run it all the way up then. I mean, we've got the steel now. I don't think I'll need to go much further than that. That's pretty lit. That's pretty lit. I mean, we can make some bedside tables. Um, how are the sculptures going? Do we have any more sculptures yet? We've got part sculptures. Um, yeah, there's probably more pressing things to do, in all fairness. Uh, we could put down some wooden floor. I should keep them happy. Cool, thank you. Come again. Come again. Uh, so that's all good. I mean, it's it's probably going to quieten down now. I, I would suspect. Uh, all the components are well, they're almost gone. We can carry on her hauling all the uh, steel in. Oh, is that steel going up slowly? Eight four seven. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 
Uh, we could mine a bit, I suppose. Lilith is so close. We might be able to get out. Uh, power, power machine thing. The generator. Power generator this time around. I don't even know what we're going to crack on with next time. I mean, we could do sterile materials. I don't know what sterile tiles and uh, what's needed in order to make sterile tiles, but it's pretty low. 1,200. But yeah, microelectronics is the next big one. But these are ridiculous. Look, 8,000 to do that. Large mineral scanner. Again, not needed at the moment. We're doing all right from, for uh, minerals, but it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So we're in deep winter now, in Jugust. 5th of Jugust. It's... It's all right. I mean, we had the cold snap before. That wasn't good. That wasn't good. What's Whistler doing? What's the steel? I mean, it's probably very inefficient in order to get them to put it over there. It does take up quite a chunk. Oh, we need to put a door in there as well. We haven't put a door in yet. So that's to go into there. And then everyone will be able to walk all the way through. Cool. I mean, arguably, we, we will have to do some hunting soon. Uh, but that is Lilith, who I really don't want to take off doing so if I, if I have to. Uh, we need to find out who our next best shot is. I need Lilith to concentrate on the uh, five, nine, four, eight. I mean, Whistler could do a bit of shooting. Nothing stopping Whistler doing some. I'll take Lilith off that. So, hunting before constructing. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think the construction's part. Part of things is going to slow down now for a bit. Let's see what we got to hunt. What is alive at the moment? We could take a raccoon out or a mega sloth. Wow, it's loads of those guys. That's not good. Right, let's get the old uh, hunting on the go here. So we'll take the raccoon. Is that a tortoise? Is that a boom rat? Yeah, it's a boom rat. I mean, I I presume... Are they deteriorating? They are, good. Um, I presume all the herds have moved along. I suppose I could deconstruct that too. I presume all the herds have moved along. Oh, wow. What happened here? Was there a fight between a cougar and a fox? Yes. Blood loss from the, from the fox bite. They're good, though. We'll eat those. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here are the alpacas. All right, so... Let us hunt those. Not the bear. We will not shoot the bear. Hmm. No, we'll leave them. We'll leave them. That's fine. I'm sure when Whistler wakes up, the head will be on, the game head will be on, and they'll just get on with it. No problems whatsoever. I have a lot of faith in Whistler. He's my go-to guy. He may sleep during the day, but a lot of proactive people sleep during the day. So I'm not going to hold that against him. He's just uh, he's, he's a lone wolf. He's a lone wolf and he's off to hunt some tortoise. And a turkey. Yes. Thank God for that. Right. So that is done. That is done. Uh, we do I want sterile materials? 
I suppose it's going to help. It says here research as well. So I'm, I'm going to do that. Uh, but in the meantime, we are going to build ourselves a geothermal generator. And it's going to sit just there. And we're going to be very happy. We're going to be very, very happy. Oh, we started. And so it begins. And then we can very much so then get rid of this wind turbine. I don't want to do it just yet, but it will be disappearing. I mean, geothermal generators, if I'm right, don't they throw out like 3,000 or 6,000 watts? So we should be covered. This is 300 watts at the moment. These are 1,000 a pop or 1,100 a pop. So as soon as this geothermal generator is up, theory would have it that we wouldn't need any more. We'd be able to run everything on full power all the time. Oh. Wow. Winter's really kicked in. I don't think there's anything harvestable right now anyway. Yeah, never mind. Now what have we got in the cargo pods? Corn! I'll claim that. Bang, bang, bang. So who's actually, whilst he's hunting... Who would be constructing Kimmy and Wood? Actually, only Kimmy would be. We'll put you down to two, you can go down to two, you can go down to two. I want to get this geothermal power set up. It means we're not restricted when it comes to heating the place as well, seeing as it is so cold. So, so cold. I mean, I'm surprised Whistler isn't coming up as cold. Minor pain? Why is it minor pain? Permanent crack. Oh, dear. And as soon as the sterile tiles are up, I suppose... I could make Lilith's own little room. In fact, we might do that now. What do we build the inside with? Limestone. Looks different. Right, let's make... Well, with keeping with everything else, let's make a limestone wall just there. We have a wooden door. And uh, we're probably going to need another heater. Unless... We play it by ear, but we'll put a vent in there flash storm uh, we're also going to need another light I think which we've cut that off where's the flash storm ah far enough away to not be too worried I mean oh a nearby settlement, Purple Cactus, contacts you for special trade request. They would like to purchase four dusters. Normal or better. Not tainted. And they would give us a Tech Prof Super Sub Persona core. What's that then? A small AI core housing a low grade sub persona specialised in teaching technology. When used, the AI will teach you the technology you're currently researching instantly and for free. Can only be used once. You know what? I'm old school. I'm just going to crack on with doing what we're doing. Uh, as long as nothing sets a light. Which it won't. It's awesome. And it can't jump over a wall. We might lose a bit of steel. As long as Eric is pretty sensible here and, and moves around things, then we should be alright. I mean, it'll burn out. That's fine. I mean, it's a, it's a hell of a fire. I'll, I'll be the first to admit. That's like what? Almost a quarter of the map. But I don't think there's anything too important in there. I mean, we could cancel hunting these guys. Just so he doesn't get pulled up in that direction if he so chose. I think that's all there is. I mean, if the boom was to set fire, that could be another story. But we'll just keep everything on the, on the south side of the river. We are 
encapsulated in non-flammable material. I think it's all going to be all right. I think it's all going to be all right. And as it stands, boom. Oh, it's not as high as I thought it was. 3,600. Even so. Better than what we got. Better than what we got. So let's pop you up. Uh, rebuilding the spikes. Cool. And we can now deconstruct you. And whilst you're in the process of doing so, go to all you as well. I mean, do we have to make... I presume we have to make... Where is it? Research, research. We have to make comms, don't we? We have to make the comms. Vitals. Shout out if you can see it. Maybe it's something I can make already and I've just overlooked. Hmm. Or not. I can't see that. So does that mean we can just do it? Here comes the rain. So you've you just, you just got to have faith. That's all. It's a little bit of faith. No, we can't do comms. Yeah, all right. Can't do comms. Um, so... Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't really need turrets, do we? I mean, we could put, we could put turrets on. Oh, here we go. Here we go with the Ambrosia Sprout again. Always the way. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. So, geothermal power is up. We should have a hell of an excess now. Three and a half thousand. Ooh. No troubles there. Uh, is everyone all right temperature-wise? Can we cut this off yet? 18, 16, 15. Minus 9, still 13. 6. I mean, it's only storage anyway. I suppose if we're going to play it super-duper safe, we can now afford to put in a couple of vents. And a heater. Oh, I'll put it in that corner there. Now warm that up. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, that'll do. Three. I suppose it makes sense to put one into here as well. I mean, we've got the power now. We've got the power. Let's use it. I've also got the opportunity to... Ooh. A refugee chased at Brio Delta. A biosphere manager named Stench. When you think of a biosphere manager, you don't think of them being called Stench. You know, a uh, Bill or, or, you know, a John. Maybe a Dave, but Stench says more punk rocker to me than anything but not one to judge calls you from nearby he's being chased by pirates from the howitzer army he begs for safety and offers to join your colony he tells you he is 27 years old but there's no time to collect any more information be warned if you accept you'll have to fight off the pirates on his tail the group is composed of six drifters and five scavenger gunners i mean they can't get any more angrier with us that'd be for sure that's hell of a party you have to ignore it ah he screams so, are we warm in here? 19 degrees. We're okay in here, aren't we? Uh, what's that statue like that we've made? Oh. More... Oh. 
How long have you been dead for? We'll claim you. We'll claim you. We'll haul you. It's all good. It's all good. Where's my statue? Uh, we have a marble, st a, marble, a marble statue. Beauty 68. Oh, lovely. Uh, a torso-sized piece of material sculpted into an artistic form. Curve like with thrusting. On this carving is a portrayal of three farmers and maids eating mushrooms together. The work is shaded in hues of red and orange. Beautiful. Beautiful. Should we get the old beauty out and see what's going on? I mean, minus 1.5, 0 0.9, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1, 0.6, minus 1. Is there anywhere like super ugly? 0 0.8, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Oh dear, 0 0.4, 1.6, minus 1.6. I mean, 0 .3, minus 3.9 3 is pretty darn ugly. That's pretty darn ugly. Uh, we shall install you there. And now, <laughs> didn't make too much difference. That's fine. That's fine. It's a start, I suppose. I mean, does it matter if it's centralized or not? Don't know. The solar flare has begun. Intense radiation will shut down all electrical devices. Oh, no. As it stands, everyone's asleep anyway, so they don't need their lights. We have no turrets. So we've got lots of traps. We'll be fine. We'll be fine, he says. We'll still what you're doing. Hunting alpaca. Cool. What's in these cargo pods? Oh. Mega sloth wall. And in our base. Too good to turn down. And I think that is where we shall end this episode. So we have got our geothermal generator up, which is super duper. It does mean that we can start looking at doing other things, uh, which uh, I will have to think about for the next episode. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy. Wait.